How Airbus Aircraft is Made Ever wondered what it takes to create one of the world's most advanced flying machines? Imagine standing before a massive Airbus aircraft, knowing every rivet and wire was meticulously crafted. But what you see is just the beginning. In today's video, we're diving deep into the hidden world of Airbus manufacturing, uncovering secrets few ever see. Welcome! Today, we're taking you on an exclusive journey inside the Airbus factory. From intricate blueprints to cutting-edge materials and assembly lines, we'll explore how these sky-dominating machines come to life. Stay tuned for astonishing details you won't want to miss. Ready? Let's get started. The journey starts with designing the aircraft. But this isn't just sketching on paper. It's all about high-tech precision. Airbus uses sophisticated computer-aided design, CADI, software to create detailed 3D models of every component of the aircraft. Imagine creating a digital replica of the plane before it even exists. Every curve, every panel, every piece of machinery is planned out in the virtual world. These 3D models are more than just digital renderings. They serve as the blueprint for the entire manufacturing process. The models are so detailed that they can be used to generate exact blueprints for cutting, shaping, and assembling each part of the aircraft. This step is crucial because any mistake here can lead to complications later in the process. Once the design is finalized, the CAD models are translated into blueprints. These blueprints are not like the old-school versions you might have seen in a movie. They're high-tech documents that specify every cut and shape needed for each piece of metal and component. Think of them as the ultimate guidebook that will direct each step of the manufacturing process. With blueprints in hand, it's time to prepare the materials. Massive sheets of aluminum and titanium arrive at the factory. These materials are crucial because they form the core structure of the aircraft. Aluminum is lightweight yet strong, making it perfect for the majority of the aircraft's structure, while titanium is used for parts that need extra strength and heat resistance, like engine mounts and landing gear. Now comes the fun part, cutting and shaping the metal. At this stage, precision is key. Large sheets of aluminum and titanium are fed into high-tech CNC, computer numerical control machines. These machines are like super smart robots that follow the blueprints with millimeter perfect accuracy. They cut, shape, and drill the metal according to the detailed specifications. The process is incredibly precise because any deviation could impact how well the parts fit together later on. Before we get to shaping, let's talk about how the raw metal materials are prepared. The process starts with melting down the aluminum and titanium in massive furnaces. The metal is heated to extremely high temperatures until it becomes a liquid. Once melted, the metal is poured into molds to create ingots or slabs that will be used in later stages. These molds shape the metal into manageable forms that can be further processed. The melted aluminum is typically cast into large rectangular slabs or ingots, which are then cooled and solidified. For titanium, a more specialized process is used due to its higher melting point and unique properties. The titanium is often melted in a vacuum or inert gas atmosphere to prevent contamination and then cast into ingots. These ingots are later rolled out into thin sheets or shaped into bars and rods, depending on what parts they will be used for. Aluminum is the backbone of most aircraft structures. The huge sheets or rolls of aluminum are first stamped into various shapes using massive stamping machines. This step transforms the flat sheets into parts like fuselage panels and wing sections. After stamping, the aluminum parts go through CNC machines again to get the precise cuts and holes needed for assembly. The result? Perfectly shaped components ready to be assembled into the aircraft. For parts of the aircraft that need to be extra strong and lightweight, such as the wings and tail, Airbus uses carbon fiber composites. These materials are a bit different from aluminum. They come in pre-impregnated sheets, often referred to as prepreg. Skilled technicians or robotic arms lay these sheets into molds that shape them into the necessary components. These molds are then placed in large autoclaves, giant ovens that bake the composites at high temperatures and pressures. This process hardens the carbon fiber into a sturdy, lightweight material that's ideal for critical parts of the aircraft. Titanium, with its exceptional strength and heat resistance, is used for crucial components like engine mounts and landing gear. Working with titanium is a bit more complex because it's tougher than aluminum. 
It requires special tooling and slower cutting speeds to prevent damage to the CNC machines. The titanium parts are shaped and drilled to exact specifications, ensuring they can withstand the high stresses and temperatures they'll face in service. With all the components shaped and ready, it's time to put them together. The first major step is assembling the fuselage, the main body of the aircraft. This is done in separate sections that will eventually be joined together. Large sections of the fuselage are riveted using automated machines that can place thousands of rivets per hour. These machines ensure that every rivet is positioned with incredible precision, maintaining the structural integrity of the aircraft. Next, we move on to the wings. Each wing is assembled separately from the fuselage. Internal components such as fuel tanks and wiring are fitted into the wing sections. Once each wing is ready, massive cranes are used to lift and attach the wings to the fuselage. Precision is crucial here. Laser alignment tools ensure that the wings are attached at exactly the right angle for optimal performance. The tail section, which includes both the vertical and horizontal stabilizers, is assembled in a similar fashion. These components are carefully aligned using lasers before being attached to the fuselage. Proper alignment is essential for the aircraft's stability and control during flight. With the main structure in place, the next step is installing the avionics, the systems that control everything from navigation to communication. Miles of wiring are routed through the aircraft, connecting all the avionics components. This wiring is installed using prefabricated wiring harnesses. These bundles of wires are prepared off-site and then brought to the factory. Special conduits and clips are used to keep everything organized and secure. Once the wiring is in place, the avionics systems are installed. These include flight control systems, navigation equipment, communication radios, and in-flight entertainment systems. Each system is carefully tested as it's installed to ensure everything is functioning correctly. This is a critical step because these systems are essential for the safe and efficient operation of the aircraft. After the aircraft is fully assembled, it undergoes a rigorous quality control process. This includes non-destructive testing methods, such as ultrasonic and X-ray inspections. Ultrasonic testing uses sound waves to detect internal flaws in the materials, while X-rays can reveal issues that aren't visible to the naked eye. These tests are vital for ensuring the aircraft is free from defects that could affect its performance or safety. Once the non-destructive tests are complete and the aircraft passes, it moves on to functional testing. Every system on the aircraft is powered up and tested to make sure it works as intended. This includes everything from the flight controls to the lighting systems. If any issues are discovered during these tests, they are addressed and corrected before the aircraft proceeds to the final stages. With the major systems installed and tested, the aircraft is ready for its final touches. The interior is installed at this stage, including seats, overhead bins, galleys, and lavatories. Each component is carefully fitted by hand to ensure a high-quality finish. The interior is also tested to ensure everything is secure and functional. Next, the aircraft is painted with the customer's livery. This is done in a specialized paint shop where the aircraft is masked off to protect the areas that won't be painted. High-pressure spray guns are used to apply the paint, which is then baked on to ensure it adheres properly and can withstand the harsh conditions of flight. The paint job not only gives the aircraft its distinctive look, but also provides a layer of protection. The final step in the process is a comprehensive inspection and a test flight. Test pilots put the aircraft through its paces to make sure everything is working perfectly. This final round of checks ensures that the aircraft meets all safety and performance standards. Once it passes these tests, the aircraft is ready for delivery and service. And there you have it. From the initial design to the final delivery, every step in building an Airbus aircraft is a testament to incredible engineering and precision. What part of the process did you find most fascinating? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.